Hey beautifuls! Welcome back to my channel today. So today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Slay Glam box for November. And I know we are in December. This box is actually sold out all the way. But I was like, you know what? Advent season pushed off a lot of my regular monthly boxes. So I just have not gotten a chance to get into them yet. So I'm just now getting into my Slay Glam for November. And I'm sure many of you have already seen what it is. But to reward you guys for watching this video, even though we're out of November already, I'm going to be sharing some spoilers with my eyeshadow palette that's coming out in January today. So we're going to do some swatches. I'm going to show you guys a few of the shades that are going to be in my palette. I'm so excited, you guys. Like, again, this is a dream come true for me. So I'm really excited to share it with you. And like I said, I needed to reward you because I knew I was already behind on this video. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to check out this unboxing today, and I'm going to share my palette with you guys. So like I mentioned, this is the November unboxing of the Slay Glam box. Now Slay Glam is a monthly subscription where you will receive five makeup products, one of those being an eyeshadow palette every single month. There is free shipping on this and it is only $24 a month for this subscription. If you sign up right now in the month of December, you will receive the December box. But I will tell you guys is that my palette that I'm collabing with Slay Glam over is releasing in January and it will be in the January subscription box. Now in order to guarantee yourself one of those palettes, you can sign up now and you will be guaranteed that subscription box with my palette in it. Like I mentioned last month in October, I am going to be selling some of the palettes myself. That way if you want to purchase one directly from me, you can. However, it will not be $24. So the subscription will be significantly cheaper than what I can do with the palette. Part of this is just pricing and making the palette. There's a lot of, you're going to see there's like some duo chromes in there and those cost a little bit more. It's also shipping is going to be involved in there, which I'm going to give you guys free shipping once I get it all launched. But it will be free shipping to receive it, but I'm still going to have to include that in my cost of the palette itself. So if you are really wanting my palette, my best recommendation is use my link down below, sign up now, that way you're on to get that palette next month. If you wait until January to purchase Slay Glam, there's a very good chance it will sell out before you would ever get the subscription box and she'll send you the February one. So that's why I'm telling everyone, just sign up now, that way you're ahead of it and you can guarantee yourself this palette. So are you guys ready for some spoilers? I'm going to share with you a few of the shades. I'm not going to tell you the color story yet. I'm not going to tell you my whole vision. I'm not even going to tell you the name of the palette just yet. I'm just going to share some of the shades with you guys. I will be making a video coming up that's going to talk about the entire palette, the story. There's going to be tutorials. You guys, I've been practicing and wink wink i'm actually wearing one of the shadows today so there's gonna be lots of tutorials i've been practicing and playing and in a lot of my videos recently you guys have actually seen these shades but you just didn't know it yet so the first shadow that i'm going to share with you guys is going to be this gorgeous pink silver combination so you're going to see a little bit of that duochrome coming through there's a hint of green in there as well but this is a very universal shade and it goes with a lot of looks which is why i absolutely love this one again pigment is going to be insane so you're gonna see it's pink but do you see that shift so it's really pretty that it catches the lights and you're going to really be able to incorporate this in a lot of different looks. Now the next one I'm going to show you guys is what I have on today. This is a shimmer and this one is going to be a gorgeous green color. So like I said, this is what I'm wearing today on my eyelid and it's in my palette. Can you believe I'm saying that? Like I'm saying this is my shadow and it's on my face and it's my, I don't know you guys. Like I'm not trying to sound self-centered, but I am freaking out a little bit that it's like, oh my gosh, this is, I'm showing you guys what I picked out. So I'm going to do a swatch for this one real quick. This one again, high pigment, very bright, and it's going to catch a lot of that light. 
So you're going to see it's a very bold color, but you can honestly tone it down. Like even with this look today, it's a little bit muted here on the edges. So don't be afraid yet with color because I did promise you guys this palette, I wanted to do a one, two, three step tutorial. So with three shadows, you can have an entire look. You can get an intro to color. I really wanted to make it safe for everyone. So don't be alarmed yet if you're like, whoa, lime green, I can't do it. I have options for you. Okay, the next one I think you guys are gonna love. This one is so buttery smooth and it is going to be a gold shimmer once again. But I wanted this gold to go a little bit more orangey. Do you see how it's got like that orange touch to it? It's not all a yellow gold. This is going to be a gorgeous copper color. So you're gonna get this really nice, deep golden copper orange. So this next shimmer that I'm gonna share with you guys, it's a blue with a pink purple underneath of it. So again, in the light, it will shift a little bit with the colors. So this is what that's going to look like there for our fourth shimmer. And this one is blue, you've got a touch of green, but then also in the light, it's going to catch it and you're gonna see a little bit of that purple tone. So these are gonna be the four shimmers that are going to be inside of my eyeshadow palette. This is your first spoiler. Like I said, don't be intimidated yet by the colors. I've got you covered, we're gonna go through it together. I have lots of options. And then like I said, this green that you're seeing is actually what I'm wearing today on my eyelids. So we have a lot of fun looks that I'm gonna be putting together for you guys very soon. So I will tell you that there are going to be 12 shadows inside of my palette. And the only reason why I'm not revealing all of the shades yet is there is a very deliberate color story and there's a method to my madness, put it that way. If I show you everything, then I have to explain why I went this route and I don't wanna do that just yet. I still want it to be a little bit of a surprise and like a reveal in January. And I just don't wanna give away everything yet. So you're gonna have to hang with me, but like I said, those are the four shades that are for sure in my palette. So now we're gonna move on to my November Slay Glam box. Like I said, this is a monthly beauty subscription. One of the things that I love about Slay Glam is that it is affordable. It's only $24 a month. And in comparison to other subscription boxes out there on the market, that is a very low price point for beauty boxes. I mean, extremely low. And the fact that you get an eyeshadow palette every month as well, that just makes it all the better. First item inside of my November Slay Glam is from Illuminati, and this is going to be the Ultra Cream Gloss. The shade that I have on here is Apollo. So this is our gorgeous color. Now what's cool is Slay Glam typically will curate like in a whole theme for that monthly box. So all of the colors and shades should work with each other to create a whole look. When my palette comes out in January, I am not curating any of the other products inside of that box. So I don't even know what the subscription is gonna look like just yet. All I know about is the palette, and that's the only thing that I've had a say in. But I am excited to see what she pairs together with it. So this is our swatch for our Illuminati Lip Gloss. Gorgeous color. It's really pretty. You've got that nice pink color in there. It's a little bit of a mauve. You do have a gloss. There's a little bit of shine. I like this. Next item is from Bow Babe Beauty. This is their Deep Bronze. And it says you can achieve a level of bronze day or night and it's for all skin tones. Oh, okay. So we've got a bronzer. It's a little small for a bronzer. I thought it was an eyeshadow at first because it's just, you know what I mean? Like it's just like a square of eyeshadow almost, but it's actually a bronzer. Oh, she is shimmery. So here's that bronze color, but do you see all the glitter? It's honestly got a highlighter built into it. So this is what it looks like. That's a really pretty color. I can work with that. That I think is gorgeous. So you know what's strange is because of the shimmer that's in it, it borders on more of a highlight to me than it does bronze. It's kind of got like a highlighting glow, like it's warmer, but I don't know, I don't know that I would put this down as a bronzer. You would have to want shimmer everywhere in order to use this as an all over bronzer. So next item that I have here is the Lash Step. Now, I think this is a mascara just looking at it, but what I'm wondering is if this is the color or if it's actually a black mascara. I haven't quite figured that out yet. So we're gonna look inside 
and oh it is brown and it's a curved one well look at that geez it's really curved so we have a brown mascara and man is that a curved wand or what i'm trying to figure out if it's supposed to be that way or if it got bent i feel like it got bent in there that seems like too much curve but we have a brown mascara so you can definitely start to see the theme we're going for here it's a very neutral vibe that we have going on like it's a very soft glam look for our fourth item we have the roll it up auto lip liner this is a full-size product and this lip liner will look like this so again, it's going to be a deeper brown color. Definitely seeing the theme here. Like I love these collections because like I said, they're supposed to all work with each other. Even though this is a very soft neutral look compared to what I would do, I still appreciate that it's a full collection. Last item inside of our November Slay Glam is our palette. And this is the Thankful palette. It is from a company called Color. So let's look at our thankful palette and see what we have inside. We have a mirror and then down below you're going to have some mattes and also shimmers. Wow. Okay. This was not at all what I was expecting. I thought for sure we were going to get an all neutral palette, like all browns. But I do think if you look at these colors again, they do work with each other. I mean, this color and the lip are nearly identical. First off, let's start with this yellow gold you can see how this differs from mine because this is definitely more yellow and mine goes more orange more copper like but i do think this is still a pretty shade look at that oh wow that is really good okay next one that i have is more of a glitter and this is like a deep green oh my gosh look at that wow you know, that is really pretty. Okay, so then I'm gonna try this matte down here. So this one's gonna be a really soft orange matte. That one's really pretty too, you guys. Oh my gosh, this is a really cool palette. Now the matte itself, you can blend out or you can build it up if you want to, but honestly, I think that's great pigment for a matte. The next one I'm gonna check out is kind of this blue shimmer over here. And this one is a bit deeper. But that's really pretty. You know what? This looks better as a swatch than I think it does even in the palette. Like in the palette, it looks a little muted. You know what I mean? So let's do this one here. Oh my gosh. That's really pretty. It's like a navy blue shimmer. That is really, really pretty. So it's really pigmented. I'm not familiar with this brand at all. But even for these matte shades, I mean, they're really gorgeous. I do think it's an interesting color story. I don't know that I would have ever picked yellow and orange and plum and, you know what I mean? Like, I think the color story itself is a little interesting looking at it. But I do think they're nice shades. I just need to figure out how I would work these together. So that is everything inside of the Slay Glam box for November. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Honestly, this is a very muted look compared to the other Slay Glams that I've seen this year. But I do feel like it's nice to have that because some people really like a muted look. I'm typically a little bit more crazy with my makeup. So I do feel like this fits, you know what I mean? They're catering to everyone. They're doing a little bit for everybody. So I do feel like, yes, it's muted, but it's probably well-deserved because all of the other months have been really bold and colorful. So honestly, I think it's good. And you guys got to see four swatches from my upcoming palette as well. I cannot wait, you guys. Like, I can't wait for January to get here. I'm so excited. Like, I just... It's going to be so much fun. January is just going to be the best, you guys. But again, if you would like to guarantee yourself one of my palettes, sign up for the subscription box. Now you will receive the December bundle if you order in December, and then you'll be charged in January for that January bundle. But my palette will be in that bundle itself. So until next time, beauties, have a great rest of your day, and I will see you all in my next unboxing video. Bye!